I'm all but blue heads. Oh, uh, did he say that? See, to the hippies of Southern California and to the blue collared boys of Pittsburgh, I have washed in every single one of their shoes. I am of the people and for the people. That's Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Thank you. President candidate or drag queen? Drag How are you doing, Raja? I'm so yeah. good. I see you got a refill. Yes, I did. I needed one. Right. <laughs> you know, when you first take that first drink and that buzz, and, you know, you're kind of like off kilter a little bit. Well, it's leveled off and I'm ready for the second. You're so evening it. That. Yes, I'm evening it all out. Yeah. So how is life been since season three? All right. Is this thing on? Okay, great. I'm so glad. Cause this is, uh, oh, oh, shit. Do not fuck with... Roll, yeah! I'm starting to hit a rock. <laughs> you can have it when I'm going. It's like, ooh, it's like oh. Okay, sorry about that. No worries. You know, Queens. <laughs> queens on the red carpet. Being famous. Who, famous kn and such. Uh, who knew that there would be like Queens on a red carpet, first pink of all? Or a, oh, sorry, it is a, oh, that's right, it is a pink carpet. I didn't even realize that. fabulous than red. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. But I mean, who knew that we would have events like this where we can all just talk about drag and drag is now part of our dialogue and I hate Raja and I hate this person and I love this person. I mean, it was never part of me growing up, you know? It's like, all I had was RuPaul and Shanene and the guys on Men on Film, on Living Color. Those were the only gay, like, drag, re that, that, that's who I, like, looked up to, Absolutely. you know? So anyway. So how has life been since you've been on the show? It's been great. It's been great, you know? Um, I feel like I finally am living, like, the artist's life that I've always wanted to live. I feel like I'm actually the person person I've always wanted to be when I grow up. Does that make sense? It does. Yeah, because I don't know if many people can actually say that. And I've said that before about myself, but as, as the days keep passing, like, the more and more I feel that way, the more I feel like I am exactly in the place that I need to be in right now. And you know, it is a struggle. It's kind of like, I'm always sort of like swimming around to make sure that I'm still sort of relevant, but I gotta stop thinking that way and just kind of do what I do and create my art and, you know, it'll all sort of fall organically the way it has always done for my entire life, so. I feel you are so unique in yourself that there's no way you'll ever get old. Uh, I don't know, I'm a Gemini, so there's like this constant like stress and like angst that happens, but at the same time sort of like sweepy and diaphanous and hippy dippy. So, you know, there's always a conflict, but that's kind of the, where the fire comes from, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. So you do a lot of traveling, obviously. I do. Is there a city in the U.S. that has stood out most to you since, since you've won? There's been a few. Anchorage, Alaska was definitely an interesting, but I never thought in my life that I would ever go to Alaska. I mean, like, what for, you know? But I went and it was amazing. It was a lot of fun. It was surreal to say the least because uh, the sun set at about midnight or 11 o'clock. It was during the summer. So that was kind of an experience. But so how do you do daytime, no matter what? <laughs> I guess so, yeah. But um, my next city that I'm going to, which I'm really excited about, is two cities. I'm going to Hong Kong and Shanghai. I'm hosting a big charity fashion event there. And I've been to Hong Kong and Shanghai before, so it'll be really nice to revisit it. There's some great flea markets that I love there. So, so what is the charity that you're going to be hosting for? As far as I, I think it's an, as far as I know, it's an AIDS benefit. I'm still getting all the details now. It just sort of happened. So, but I'm really excited to go to the city. So, is there yeah. anything else coming up that you're excited about that you want to let people know about? Yeah, totally. I'm doing. I'm still experimenting with some music. I just did a song called Sublime, and that video is going to come out really soon. That's going to be sickening, by the way. And um, um, I'm working on a like a small accessories line right now, just to start it off a little bit. And um, uh, thinking about writing a kids book, or I am writing a kids book, but it's that's sort of a process that you kind of have to like work on for a bit and um, and I'm still traveling so, nice. yeah. so where's a other than Hong Kong and, and going over to the Orient, where else can people see you coming up in the future? I'll be in Dallas this weekend, Texas. I love Texas. The South is like one of my favorite places to be. Um, great food, sexy people, uh, sultry, always. So I'm going to be in the South this weekend. But, you know, if you're ever in West Hollywood, you'll probably see me just walking down the street of Trader Joe's. So, you know, it'll, just Santa Monica Boulevard and me walking down the street is definitely a vacation spot, I'd say. So. When the voting was happening and everything, like, you're a fan favorite. Like, when did you hear the news? Like, the cast was announced. Oh my God, I was so sad because all, all my fans they want to see me on TV again. I'm working a lot. I have a lot of things out there, music, books, and everything. So I think, oh my God, I want to come back. You know, the new Jessica Wilde. You know, but when I realized that I was the part of the cast. Hi, my name is Raja, and you're watching Real Gay TV. Thank you so much. <laughs> Enjoy your evening. All right, you guys. Thank you.